Hello, my name is Stephanie Laurent Johnson and I am a trauma-informed certified life coach. Today I'd like to talk to you about depression. Depression can sneak up on you or it can hit you like a ton of bricks. There's no definitive way to often know until the wave is already crashing down on you and then it's sink or swim. Depression looks like many things to each person struggling. For me, it could be frozen, unable to move, curled up in the fetal position. For you, it could be fatigue, lack of motivation, indescribable sadness, um, mood swings. What can help is learning how to first identify when you are emotionally charged or triggered. In this state of mind, we are already moving toward fight, flight, or freeze. This is a good time to start breathing, really breathing, by simply pausing and placing a hand over your heart in an expression of kindness, closing your eyes if you can, and taking a deep breath in for the count of four, releasing for four, Your nervous system is already saying to you, thank you for the compassion. Continue to breathe while offering yourself what you need to hear and feel in this very moment. May I be kind to myself. May I begin to be kind to myself. May I accept myself as I am. May I forgive myself. May I begin to forgive myself. Speaking to yourself as you would to a friend, affirming what you need to get through this suffering, really validating how you feel. We all feel uh, discomfort and struggles from time to time and emotions, whether it be insecurity, fear, worry, sadness, our emotions show up and they come up to help us. It's when they're presenting more often and with greater intensity that that may be a warning signal to reach out for support. Call on a friend, a trusted source, or a mental health professional. And if you believe these warning signs are occurring in a family member, a friend, or a loved one, please reach out to them and encourage them to get the support that they need. Now more than ever, let's stock up on compassion for self and others.